All right, sorry for the fogginess. It's just really, it's really been uh, crazy with uh, this mist rain. So just to describe the amount of water we have in Canada, check this out. So this is train close to where I live, about 20 minutes, or about maybe like 45 minute drive or something like that. That's a whole lake system here. Pigeon Lake, Buckhorn Lake, Upper Chemong Lake, I don't know half of these lakes, Lower Buckhorn Lake, Deer Lake, Clear Lake, Stony Lake, Jack Lake, that's where I'm right now, right here, I'm taking a trail, I'm not sure which one, it's probably this one, um, Candles Lake, what's more south, let's check it out, Round Lake, Crown, I mean I can keep going, close to all these national parks, Bon, bon Echo, very nice spot to go walking, uh, Puzzle Lake, Let's look at this craziness. And you can imagine how many beavers live there. Halliburton Lake. Elephant Lake. And that's just kind of southern Ontario area. Slightly more, maybe mid-Ontario. If, 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 if mid. It's probably even more south. And up north. It's even more. It's crazy. And in Africa, people are basically, I mean, look at this, this uh, don't have any water. Check this side here, it's 90.2 kilometers, you go to Twin Lake, Candles Lake, 25 miles, Havelock Lake, 56. I was just at Havelock um, Trail, Tay Havelock. So that's 52 kilometers from here. Check this out, that's Jack Lake, 6.4. That's what I'm looking for, I guess. Absolutely, 30.1. And it's raining, like we don't have enough water. <laughs> Alright, cheers.